This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hi, everyone. I'm Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment, and welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. Today, we're talking with Kevin Clark, Assistant Vice President of Vehicle Operations for Fleet Services by Cox Automotive. Kevin, great to see you. Thanks for taking the time. Great to see you, too, Jason. Thank you. Today, we are following up on your top tech competition. Cox Automotive puts together this great technician competition uh, for technicians from across the U.S., from fleet services, services and Mannheim businesses. Uh, and, I mean, clocks are ticking. You have judges scrutinizing what's going on. There's written uh, exams. There's practical exams. A really big, very cool event. Let's just start with a rundown of how you put this competition together and what determines the service challenges that these technicians face. Yeah, sure. Um, the competition planning goes all year long. Um, so one of the things that we do early on before our techs get there is we um, we do training. We have a training on our LMS called Learn at Cox, where folks can go in and brush up on uh, ASC style questions, any type of technical information they need. Um, we also do training out of our Fleet Tech Academy with our Fleet Tech Honors Program. We go out to the field and, and we do that continued education. Uh, but what we do to qualify our techs is we send out a written test. It's very uh, much like an ASC test. It's 50 questions uh, and folks get one shot at qualifying uh, through taking that test. Um, wow. This year we had 600 plus tests uh, to, to be a part of the competition. Um, wow. Now, when it comes to getting to the competition, you know, we we brought 45 into the competition. And part of your question was what type of uh, service difficulties are they dealing with when they get there? Well, we mimic our competition and those um, stations to the Super Tech competition, at and AT, ATA puts on every year. Uh, and um, so we'll bug vehicles in a certain way. Uh, we'll ask you to walk through a preventive maintenance, maintenance inspection, uh, watching how you go about it. There are written stations on recommended practices. There are diagnostic stations where we expect the technician to follow the tr troubleshooting tree. Um, everything that we do is supposed to prepare them for the super tech competition. So we try to mirror it the best as we can. Yeah, very cool. And I mean, even I got to go back because putting that focus on that written portion, that written testing, you know, I experienced here not too long ago, there is a very specific skill set in studying for that and understanding that and taking that test in a very specific way. You know, I imagine once you get out in the field and you're a working technician, you kind of find your 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 tricks and go to's and yeah, you follow the best practices. But man, that could be uh, rather intimidating if you haven't taken a, a written test in a while. Cool to hear that 600 of them uh, gave it a shot. Absolutely. And you're picked up on a very important piece of the competition. Uh, technicians do find easier ways to get to the diagnosis. Uh, they do have little tricks that they've picked up along the way that maybe causes them to or enables them to be able to skip a step. Uh, you cannot do that in a competition. You have to follow that troubleshooting tree. You have to follow uh, all the uh the path as it as it's laid out and as you've been trained, take key readings uh, and it really takes you back to uh, the basics, uh, but just doing it right. Right. Yeah, because there's a very specific reason that you have to do it that way. I know you might be able to get away with it sometimes in the real world. And, and speaking of that, too, and speaking of those skills, are there any skills or techniques uh, that really set these winning technicians apart? When you look at the past couple of years, what are those things that set those technicians apart from the rest of the field? Besides being highly motivated uh, with great uh, initiative uh, to continue to learn, uh, these technicians um, throw their, 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 their self into preparing for these competitions. So 
think about what I just said about those little tricks that they use in their day to day. Uh, they realize that they have to be sure that they're following. I don't want to say by the book, but it's it's by the book. It's by the steps in the troubleshooting tree. It's not taking shortcuts. And the competition uh, champions usually uh, are very good about going back and brushing up on those things and making sure they don't skip a beat. Another thing in our competition and in super tech, um, the, a technical service bulletin or a recommended practice or some sort of troubleshooting help is always available to them just as it is in the field. So the really talented ones know to pace themselves and take in all the information available to them to make the repair. Uh, and they do well in the stations when they do that. Yeah, you know, it's really interesting to find that balance, right? Make sure you go through all the steps, cross all the T's, dot all the I's, if you will, too. But th that ticking clock component, too, it is still a competition. There's lots of pressure there. I, I know you can even just imagine uh, feeling that internal pressure on, pr uh, pressure on the technician side of wanting to do the job, wanting to do well, but still following all the steps. That's, that's really cool. Create a really cool kind of environment there. How does that, so you go about developing this challenge, you're, you're really paying attention to the proper steps, the recommended practices, all of the things that technicians should, should keep an eye on. How does that reflect or inform the way that you train technicians with Cox, uh, Cox Automotive? How do, does that impact it at all? You know, I think we're very cognizant of making sure that when we're doing our training in, internally in the company, uh, you know, that we're teaching adults and adult learning is, is different. And we are um, very aware that, that there are two schools of thought, uh, one going by the book uh, and following each guideline. And there is also the folks that have learned the trick and learned the tool that could help them go quicker or learn the step that is usually not the problem. Uh, one of the things that we do when we train in our Fleet Tech Honors course is we give you all the details. Uh, we, we can share uh, both the very technical portion of how things are to be done and recorded, et cetera, but we will also share tips and tricks to make you more efficient. Um, the, most of the time, uh, I'd say any tip or trick that we share is not gonna make the repair maintenance or preventive maintenance uh, uh, in danger. It's just a quick check that we would also share along with the details. For sure. You know, so I, one more question for you, too, because, we, you know, our audience, we got fleet managers, we got shop managers, uh, people that with technicians that report up to them. Right. What advice would you have for them if they're if they're listening to this and saying, man, you know what? I've got some some really great technicians that I want to get involved in this. You just crowned your your winners here this year. We want to look at next year. What advice would you give to them to make sure their technicians would be ready to compete in the challenge next year? I'd say invest in that technician with your time. Um, there are resources on uh, that TMC provide to pre prepare technicians that uh, those folks can go read and brush up on. There are um, the recommended practices manual is out there and available for technicians and fleet managers to get their hands on to uh, study up on uh, and run through. ASC testing is always good to prepare you for written testing as well as the way ASC does their uh, questions makes you really think about the technical aspect of what you're doing. And then I'd say lastly, uh, most states have smaller competitions leading up to the super tech that are hosted by mm -hmm. the American Trucking Association. Search out those state competitions, regional competitions, and take your best technician and, and give them a shot and see how they perform there that will not only see how they perform, it will also prepare them for the bigger stage as they think about what they need to do to, to get prepared to be there. So those are, those are the best tips I can think of right now. I love it. And I know, I know I said last one, but I do have a follow-up on that because I know you've been a technician, you've grown up through this, you've been in those positions. For the technician, 
who, who needs that little bit of confidence boost, right? Who needs to believe in themselves. What would you say to them to make sure that, hey, you got the confidence, you got this, give it a shot? That's a great question. Um, I'm not sure if you if I went back in time to when I was a technician, if I had the confidence to go out and do it myself. Uh, but I do get to technicians a lot about this. And, and I would say to people, you're doing the job every day. You are a, a, a professional technician uh, that knows how to get this done. Just devote some of your energy to preparing yourself for a competition to be watched, to hit the marks, to cross the T's and dot the I's, as you said, uh, and you'll do way better than think you will. My son is also a technician. And when he was in school, uh, still you know trying to become a technician, I sponsored him to go participate in Future Tech uh, at, at a Super Tech competition. And I remember him being a very studious person and being very good technician and I'll write some Volvo certs, but he walked up uh, from the competition floor and says, wow, dad, that was different than I expected. I really should have prepared myself a little bit better, but he was thankful he did it. Uh, I was thankful. I'm always thankful to watch all our, um, uh, Excel and, um, you can't get there unless you put yourself out there. So I, I, re, I really would just say to those technicians, you know, give it a shot. Um, you're a professional. You can lean on what you do every day. You can lean on your skills. You'll do way better than you think. Very cool. Very cool. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for taking the time. Really excellent event you put uh, on here. Excited to hear more about it. I'm sure I'll talk to you again very soon as, as, as you do this again and roll into next year. Uh, thank you, Jason. Very excited. Can't wait till next year.